Addressing the Indian community, Consul General Ranthir Jaiswal noted that the world has been inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's message of non-violence and many world leaders have followed his path such as Martin Luther King Jr. Featuring devotional songs, faith prayers, here are some highlights from the commemoration of Mahatma Gandhi's 73rd death anniversary. <laughs> First of all, I must, before I begin, I must uh, recognize all those who have worked together to make this, to celebrate this event. I must thank the chairman of Gandhi Society, Mr. H.R. Shah. and other members of Gandhi Society here in New York and United States, Mr. Bhadra Bhutala, Mr. Rajan Vichapalli, also a leading luminary of our community, Mr. Upen Chihukula, Mr. Deepak Chauhan, who's done so much to bring spotlight recognition to Gandhian values in this country and all our distinguished friends. Remembering Mahatma Gandhi always is a moment of deep pride for us. Remembering him on his Punnadithi on 30th January every year, especially in this country, has even more significance. For we celebrate Mahatma Gandhi, his values, close to our Republic Day, and also in a month when we celebrate the life and legacy Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you. Thank you uh, so much uh, for allowing me to participate uh, in this uh, amazing acknowledgement uh, for the life of Brother Gandhi, I like to say. And, you know, oftentimes when we look at the impact of the life of an individual, uh, we often view it through the prison of how they touch people in their immediate circle. And we don't look at the cascading effect. The life of Gandhi did not only impact those from the South Asian community. Many leaders across the globe embraced his concept and his belief in how we should address and deal with conflicts. One of the most prominent leaders in the African-American community is Dr. Martin Luther King. Dr. King made it clear it was through the works and the life of Brother Gandhi that he embraced the nonviolent concept. And it took a country with all of its militarization, all of its strength, and all of its power. आप दुनिया को हिला सकते हैं। 
This quote means, in a gentle way, you could shake the world. It also basically means that you could change the world in peaceful ways. He did the same thing by com campaigning and protesting for human rights, religious and ethnic harmony, terminating social injustice, women's rights, etc. These campaigns are what truly changed the world. His belief in peace and harmony not only helped end the British rule, but helped millions of people all over the world to learn the true meaning of peace and justice. As he said, gentle and peaceful ways you could shake or change the world. The impact of Gandhiji's words and actions can be used in our lives today as well. With the acts of social injustice still going on today, we could peacefully protest, campaign, and project our peaceful ideas to end the cruelty in the world. We can do this by not just helping for our sake, by doing small acts of kindness, helping others, and to shake the world into a happier place for all of us. As Gandhiji said, you must be the change you want to see in the world. 72nd anniversary of the Thank you for organizing this prayer tribute to me. I'm grateful to Council General and Deputy of the Guardian Society. Prayers it is a heal the world. Thanks a lot of media. In the age of the pandemic, of the hate that we see prevalent in our community today worldwide. We need the healing of the world. And if prayer can heal, then we must believe that one people love, truth, nonviolence, peace, and equality are our creed. We can make a of these qualities on which we can. I thank all of you and wish you all the best that we may triumph against all the adversities that the last year has forced us and our own propensity for hate and the lies as the grief is today. We all, all heal together. Mahatma Gandhi was the great experimenter, the religious innovator, the humanitarian, the revolutionary, and the social reformer. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born in Porbandar, Gujarat on October 2, 1869. After his schooling, he studied law in London and became a barrister. He was interested in wider and progressive thinking and took a job in Nepal, South Africa, where he had to defend his dignity as an Indian. He organized the fight against the exploitation of forced labor. African government had to change the policy of labor and improve the conditions of the workers there. Gandhi left South Africa in 1914 and came to India. He had gained good knowledge and experience in unjust social and legal practices. After 1915, Gandhi assumed the leadership of Indian National Congress. He changed the basic concepts and organized in non-violent ways. The British government wanted to maintain their power over India with cruel and unjust ways. Gandhi followed the path of truth, non-violence, and justice. Many British people felt the wrong and inhumane, cruel ways adopted by their own British rulers. The fight for freedom in India became non-violent. This concept of non-violence was recognized worldwide. Jawaharlal Nehru used to say, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Now, there is a worldwide concept of democracy resulting in fair and free governments all over the world. As Dr. Martin Luther King once said, we may ignore Gandhi at our own risk. Thank, Thank you, you and Jay.